So what is the best way to stop children from bypassing age limits? We ask the experts. Preteens aren't supposed to be on social media, but it's extremely easy for them to lie about their age and get in. But this may change. Governments are proposing laws that would force social media companies to improve their age verification standards. France has a bill that would require social media companies to have a technical age verifying solution, as well as parental consent for anyone under 15. The bill has passed the lower house of parliament. The UK proposed a bill called the Online Safety Bill. It would also require age checking measures. In Canada, Instagram is testing out facial age estimation technology. Users will record a selfie, and Instagram's technology will verify whether that user is indeed over 13. It's kind of a double-edged sword with tech companies. They could put means in there to validate someone's age. The problem is what happens if and when social media is compromised and hacked. Scott Schober is a cybersecurity expert at BVS Inc. He says there are all kinds of ways to verify someone's age, such as providing a birth certificate, driver's license, or facial recognition. But he believes these methods aren't worth the risk because hackers may get your data and steal your identity. When it comes to social media, he believes good parenting is the main solution, but new technologies may be able to provide a technical solution. There's a number of new technologies such as zero knowledge protocols that can help address uh, uh, things from a security standpoint to ensure anonymization from a, a broad uh, standpoint as well. Chris Duffy is the head of AI strategy at Adobe. He says zero knowledge protocols are an evolution of blockchain technology. The user will be able to provide his or her age to the social media firm without actually providing the explicit data. Rather, the age is verified through sophisticated math computations and algorithms. Still, Duffy says, there is no bulletproof way to protect data, but he says it's more important to add more and more layers of protection as technology becomes a bigger and bigger part of our lives.